Hello, welcome to my review of the Travax Ascent Wallet. As part of this review, we will talk about the features of the wallet. We will compare it against other kind of similar non-billfold slim style wallets. We'll talk about the yays, nays, no goods, and excellence of this wallet. And then we'll talk about whether or not I'd recommend this wallet and what I'd like to see in the next version of it. So uh, we might as well dig right in. So this wallet is made out of top grain leather. It has a steel frame in the middle of it, which you can kind of see is ribbed on the side here. It has these two rivets kind of pinning the leather down at the bottom next to this lanyard hole. And then in addition, you have uh, this stitching up around the edges to keep it secure. I'm very confident in the build of this wallet. It has not failed and I've been using it on and off for three years now. So as part of this wallet, you can you have this fabric tab here, which you can pull and eject the cards on this side. For the purpose of this review, I've loaded this wallet with five bills, three cards, this little plastic backer, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, and uh, and that's it. That's what's in this wallet. So on this side, you have the uh, ejection mechanism. And then on this side, you have the more classic thumb style uh, ejection, which you have on a lot of similar wallets. So there you go. We can get these cards out. We can put them back in. Um, this, uh, this wallet uh, advertises that it has RFID protection. It's made in the USA and it comes with a 65 year heirloom warranty. So uh, this is a non-sponsored review. I bought this wallet with my own money and I've been using it ever since. I would dare say it's my favorite and most commonly carried wallet. I do have my initials engraved on the back, so I have went ahead and covered those up for the purpose of this review, but they're there. So um, I do like their engraving. It, it's good quality engraving that holds up over time. Over the last three years, it hasn't worn down or worn away in any, any sense. So here we go. Here's a Trayvax wallet. Let's compare it against some competitors here. I do have weights and um, thicknesses on the competitors. I'll only talk about a couple of them. I just want to give you some general size comparison. This was the first slim wallet I ever bought. This is the slim clip. I think I picked this up at a Fry's Electronics. I've also loaded it with six cards for the purpose of this review. That goes for all of the wallets except for one which I'll note. So you can kind of see from a sizing comparison, it's a little bit uh, smaller. And then on top of it, it's about one millimeter thinner. So not a whole lot. And you'll see that for a lot of the wallets in this review. So. Uh, this is the slim clip and you can kind of see it in comparison to the Trayvax Ascent. Uh, this is the Trayvax Element. This is another similar Trayvax wallet. Uh, I'll line it up kind of on the edge here so that you can see the relative side ne size next to each other. I have loaded this wallet with 10 cards for the purpose of this review so that you can kind of see the expansion and uh, ability of this wallet to hold uh, additional cards. I've really stretched this wallet out. I was quite a wallet pack rat for many, many years. So uh, then under this side, you can put your billfolds, but this isn't a review of this wallet, so we'll keep moving from it. So the next wallet I have kind of here is a Big Skinny. They're kind of one of the brands that advertise slim wallets. I think my uh, wife bought this for me a number of years ago, and I carried it for a period of time. You can see that it's worn down. I actually carried it for less time than I've carried the Ascent, yet it's quite a bit more worn. From a size comparison, you can see it's kind of a similar size, similar thickness overall, whenever you consider the money clip. Um, we have uh, the Ridge Wallet. This was the original Kickstarter Ridge Wallet, which is where I originally purchased it. It's missing a few screws. I can replace those, but uh, for here, for this purpose, it's just here for comparison. You can kind of see its, com uh, its size comparison to the Ascent Wallet, and then you can see its thickness difference uh, whenever compared to the Ascent Wallet. Um, so this is the Ridge. Then on top of it, uh, we have a coach wallet. This is just kind of a slimline little little wallet, which holds a few cards and then has a money clip on one side. So I picked this up a number of years ago. I carried it for quite a while and uh, was pretty happy with it. This was about the time that I started transitioning from the slim clip into kind of like ascending the ranks of uh, wallet geekery. So you can see a number of wallets here. I'll place some, uh, I'll place weights and uh, general thicknesses on the uh, screen during this review. 
So moving these off to the side, let's talk about the yays of this wallet. So the yays of this wallet for me are that it's thin enough and holds solid. It feels like quality. It's a good feeling wallet. It's, um, it's robust. This mechanism for ejection has just been rock solid. It just feels like a good wallet that I never have a concern, concern about failing in any way. Um, it's made in the U.S., which, you know, people like to think that being made in the U.S. automatically makes things quality. That's not necessarily true. Um, but at the same time, in this case, it does stand for something. This is an extremely high quality wallet. Um, the company seems to really stand behind it. And they're a small manufacturer. I believe they're based in uh, Washington and it's great. Um, bought a number of wallets from them over the years and been very happy with them. Um, it holds enough cards to function. So with some of my other slim wallets, they don't carry enough cards. And I find that being able to carry six, seven cards is about the right balance for me. Uh, I'm not the type of guy to leave the house and only carry an ID and a credit card. That's just not me. I'm always carrying a couple credit cards, an ATM card, you know, ID, those types of things. So six is about the right number. Um, in addition, I can hold a number of bills here, which is always handy. I do not like having to carry a separate object to carry my cash. Uh, so that's good. Um, it has no sharp edges. I have never had, even though this side, these sides are ribbed, I have never had this uh, wallet dig into anything in my pocket. That's great. This wallet is also super fast to access. Whenever I need something, I will typically have my ID in this side and my primary credit card, rip it out, grab the card, push it back in, and I'm good to go. So that's really great. Uh, and often I will put additional cards on this side, one or two cards. So this may be harder to slide out, but as you can see with three cards, um, it's working great. Uh, the engraving is good quality. I like it. I'm not going to show it to you today, but uh, it's good and it's there. Um, it looks good. Like if I take this out and I set it on a table or I'm holding it, like people are always interested in this wallet. Um, it's just different. It's a different looking wallet from what they see normally, but it's not like super high speed, low drag, but it is different. And it's definitely looks a little more tactical than a regular everyday billfold, but I like it. I like how it looks. So what are the nays I have on this wallet? Um, relative to other wallets, this is a pretty thin wallet. It's perfectly fine, but it's not super duper thin. You know, it's not some like some master of thinness, but I think that has to do with Travax's construction, right? All of their wallets are made of this kind of top grain leather. They've got this metal frame in some form they're just not going to be able to thin it down a, a whole lot more, especially whenever you consider the thickness of the card. So I don't consider that a really big loss. Um, it would be nice if the pull system was smoother whenever it is full. So you can see that I'm pulling it out, get my cards out, dig it out. I have a leather liner here, we'll talk about that, or a plastic liner here, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then I kind of slide my cards back in. So with three cards and the plastic liner, it works pretty well, but it's not super duper smooth. You may have seen some of the effort to get it back in. At the same time, I have broken a number of ejection mechanisms on other wallets, and this one I've never broke, and I would rather have something that functions reliably every single day, even if it may not be as cool as having a little trigger that ejects your cards. Um, the other thing is, is the, the last nay I have is kind of like, these leather edges are not finished. They're, they're kind of raw edges. And it would have been nice to see them kind of like smoothed over, waxed or burnished in some way. Um, this is kind of a critique I have for all Travax wallets. I've never seen one where they don't just leave these edges raw. And it's okay, but um, it would be nice to see it kind of smoothed out like some of my other gear that has a kind of more refined fill. So those are my nays. Not very many of them.
the no goods. Um, when the wallet is fully loaded, getting cash in and out can be a pain. So I only have three cards and the little liner in here right now. But like if I pull this out and then it's out for a number of hours or say I go and add some more bills to it, like whenever I go to push it back in, I might find that I'm like having to really push and crush to get it back in. Sometimes to get it out, depending on the amount of money, I have to eject the cards and then I can pull it out because it really it releases some of the tension on the back of the cash. So that's something that you know, it's annoyed me a few times over the years. It's not horrible. I think most of the time it becomes an issue whenever I'm trying to carry receipts and I'm trying, I'm on a trip and I'm trying to kind of pack my receipts away. Thank goodness that now we have expense applications to be able to just take photos of those things. So, um, another thing, uh, is that the metal frame can eat up some forms of cards. So if we eject the cards from this wallet, let's take a look here is that there is a metal frame in here and that metal frame if it catches like uh cards with raised lettering and the like it can cause some damage over time it can cause it can cause some wear and abrasion on those uh cards they do include a little plastic slip i think this is one that came with one they have another one with a qr code on it that kind of redirects you back to the site talking about the quality of their wallets and things so Travax has a system for dealing with this where whenever you put the cards in here for the ones you're going to slide in and out a lot, put a plastic liner behind it, and then you never have to worry about it. I found this to be completely suitable, and this is a pretty thin piece of plastic, um, so it's never really caused a problem. So uh, let's get some uh, cards back into this wallet real quick. So... Now I'm putting the wallet, the cards back into the wallet. Do, 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 other side. Here we go. Push cards back in. So there they are. So what um, do I think is excellent about this wallet? This strap system may not be um, super smooth, but it is really good. It's elegant. It's simple design. I can get to my ID. I can get to my credit card super fast. I love it. This strap is my favorite ejection system ever, despite being, you know, kind of a uh, tech weenie and loving technology and little fidgety things and uh, triggers and other things. This solution is simple. It's elegant. And unlike many of the other uh, uh, kind of ejection mechanisms I've had, it's reliable. And that is really great. This wallet has, the next thing is, this wallet has aged extremely well. This wallet is now probably a year and a half of the last three years I've carried this wallet. And it's aged well. It's patinaed nicely. You can see that these little brass rivets, the uh, metal oxide finish they have on them is kind of wearing off gradually. The uh, metal here has really held its black finish well. Um, it, you know, it, it looks good, but it's, it's aging like an, a quality aged leather product should. Um, I love that that it looks like it has use, but at the same time, it's still completely presentable. And the wear and tear that it has had does not impact the functionality of the wallet at all. I love that. It feels premium. This wallet, just like every other Travax wallet, feels premium. They just do such a heck of a job of assembling these things. It's so good. So let's, let's move on. Would I recommend this wallet? I would. So if you're someone who says, I can slim my life down to six or seven cards. If you're someone who says, I don't want to carry around my entire card collection in my wallet. If you're okay only carrying, you know, three, five, seven bills, not a lot of receipts, a fairly limited amount of cash, it's a great wallet. Um, It's hefty. You know, it's a heavy wallet, but to me, that feels like quality and it's a very nice feeling uh, 
of a wallet and with these smooth edges and everything, it just feels premium and hefty. And uh, I really like it, even if it is heavier than a number of the wall other wallets in my collection. Like, uh, I believe it's right around double the weight of this, which you should have seen up on the screen at the beginning of this video during the comparison. Um, what would I like to see in the next version? I would love to see out of Travax a dual pull system uh, wallet where rather than have this slider, they have another ejector on the other side. And then that way you can have two ejectors, you can have your cards. I don't need this thing. And often I load this thing up with enough cards that it is um, it's pretty tight to get in and out using my thumb. But at the same time, if they beef this up, maybe add a little more leather here so that this side or one of the two sides can store a few more cards, kind of an extra large version of this wallet, I think it would be great. If it could store a few more bills, that would be wonderful too. But at a certain point, you're kind of starting to encroach on the realm of like, the uh, Element wallets and others were like, this has 10 cards. You could fit a bunch of bills behind this flap. So there's a lot that you could do here um, that just comes built into this wallet. Um, so I don't necessarily think that Travac should try to make this a replacement for a much bigger wallet. They even have a billfold now, which I own, but I'm not talking about today because it's more of a classic billfold. Um, so this is a this is just a really good form factor. I'd love to see the uh, pull straps on both sides because I love that mechanism. And uh, that's about it. I'd like to see the finishing on the leather edge. Um, I understand like, Maybe it's something they they like the the look of or it's part of a design aesthetic thing. I think they could round all these off, polish them up really nice um, and make them just this wallet just look even more refined than it already does. Um, the other item, which I mentioned a little bit before, was I'd like to see a refined cash storage system. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like, but when this wallet is really loaded up, getting money in and out really can become a pain. So, um, you know, I'd like to see refinement there to keep me from whenever I'm in a hurry, just shoving money into my pocket or whenever someone hands me back a bunch of extra bills as change, not being able to put them into the wallet without ejecting it, putting them in and then cramming it all back together. That's what I'd like to see. Overall, this is a great wallet for me. It's been a wonderful wallet. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, if they introduce a version 2.0, I would gladly buy this wallet again. Um, so that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, please like this video. And if uh, you have any questions, leave a comment below and uh, I really appreciate it. Have a great day.